the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive all our sins and bring us life everlasting. Let us pray. Hear, Lord, our prayer. And this day, O Lord, we commit to flames the intentions of your people. We pray, O Lord our God, that as the smoke, O Lord our God, of these flames are sent up unto you. People, Lord, we pray. We have prayed over these intentions over a long period of time. We have united these intentions to the sacrifice of the body and blood of your Son Christ the Lord. O oh Lord, we pray that you will receive each and every intentions of your people. They brought to you at different times in faith. Bless, O oh Lord, the generosity of your people. The intentions with which, O oh Lord our God, they gave offerings unto you, offerings, O oh Lord God, for the building of your church. Receive the intentions, O oh Lord, and bless your people. This, O oh Lord, we beg and ask, Jesus Christ, our Lord. The reading from Exodus, chapter 3, verse 1 to 3. One day while Moses was taking care of the sheep and goats of his father, he Lord Jethro, the priest of Midian, he laid the flock across the desert and came to Sinai, the holy mount, there the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame, coming from the middle of the bush. Moses saw the bush was on fire, but it was not burning up. This is strange, Moses said. Why isn't the bush burning up? I will go closer and see it. When Moses went, God called from the middle of the burning bush, Moses, Moses, and he answered, Here I am. God said, Do not come to the of your standards, because where you are standing is a holy ground. And I am the Lord of your ancestors, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, covered his face because he was afraid to look at God. The word of the Lord. We are told that God is a consuming fire. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 29. No wonder he manifested himself to Moses in a burning bush. Again in Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 29 he says it's well like it's like fire, it's like hammer that shattered the rock. On this day, we gather as a church to commit to flames and by this gesture in the hands of God, for God is a consuming fire, these intentions that have been written and directed to God, we have celebrated these intentions in the Mass. It is our faith, giving us a commitment to the Lord through the flames of fire. God will receive each and every of these intentions. We are committing to flames the envelopes through which God's people have reached with their generosity for the bonding for the building of the church. To flames, we beg that God will receive the prayer intentions of all the donors. 
he will bless their intentions and he will grant them their good intentions through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our response to the prayer shall be and let our prayer come unto you. Let our prayer come unto you. O Lord our God, as we gather in faith to commit these written intentions unto you, we beg of you, O Lord our God, to receive our prayer intentions and the intentions of your people we pray to the Lord. You are a consuming fire. Let each and every intentions of your people brought unto you in written form, in faith, receive answers. We pray to the Lord. O Lord, you are God that works in wondrous ways. Father, wherever Lord God the people are submitted their intentions. Ah, Father, let them receive answers to their intentions. We pray to the Lord. Let our prayers, let our prayers to Lord, that are in you, as we spoke of these intentions, arise unto you when we commit them to flames. So, Lord our God, we pray that we receive our prayers. We pray to the Lord. And let our prayers come and see our Father. Amen.